thanks so much for your company this morning. Children are facing shorter lifespans than their parents for the first time in human history. There isn't a single country that's been able to reduce its obesity rates, and Kiwi obesity statistics make for some very sobering reading. Now, if the trend continues, we're going to see nearly half the world's population as clinically overweight or obese in just 12 years. So something obviously needs to be done about this, and fast. A team of scientists right here in New Zealand are undertaking a world-first experiment that combines science and human poo. It involves obese participants consuming capsules containing a fit person's faeces. The good sh you know what the, obviously what that's going to be, <laughs> is a special three-part docu-series docu that will expose the secretive world of human poo trials. Here to tell us more are Dr. Dustin O'Sullivan and Professor Wayne Cutfield. Welcome to you both. How are you? Good morning. This is fascinating. In fact, as soon as we watched a bit of it, it's dominated our conversation. <laughs> so how did the study come about? Um, Justin and I have been working together for a number of years, and we have been doing some research to understand the role of the gut bugs, gut microbiome. Mm. And we decided time to stop doing association studies. It's time to move on and actually do something, do an intervention study. Intervention. Does it work or not? Now we know in mice that it seems to work, but does it work in humans? And mice are not men. So this is the first time that obese teenagers have been treated with a gut microbiome transfer. We call, gut, we call it gut microbiome transfer, which is a kind of thing to say than a faecal transplant, because have you tried to recruit subjects for a faecal transplant? <laughs> I can imagine that might be quite difficult. It's pretty yeah. hard. It's pretty yeah, hard it, 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 it is a bit more difficult. Fecal, so yeah. uh, that was our intention, and lots of people we worked with said, this is a, a busy field, it's challenging, why do you want to do it? And we decided we were ready, we could do it. We had a really strong team of scientists around us. Uh, you know, we're at the pointy end of it, but we're surrounded by a team of incredibly smart people, and we just... We gave it a go. Designed a study that we think is unique. Um, it's got lots of brilliant people in it, like this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's a great it's a great it's a great study. Oh look! As soon as I started watching it, I was hooked. I just couldn't turn away. I wanted to know more. So, so Justin, how exciting is it to be part of this? Because I suspect that, you know, in terms of the world stage, this is quite a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Um, it is really exciting. You know, it's it's not the sort of thing you do every day. You know, it's really interesting to ask people to do this as, a, as an exercise and, and to find out what it's actually doing, it's incredible. What sort of responses um, did you get initially from some people? Uh, yeah, yeah, you get um, some, some very interesting responses, probably <laughs> can't repeat, and, and, and then you get people that, that are really, really keen to do this, that, are, that they just have this amazing desire to contribute. Well, we all know these days that the, the, the gut is so important to mm -hmm. your whole well-being, mm -hmm. isn't it? So yeah, that yeah. part of the whole study must be easy for people to understand. Yeah. It's the mm. putting the poop into it maybe that's not. I think something, Mel, that people haven't understood is 15 years ago we thought our, we had all these bacteria in our gut and they just kind of sat there, they were passengers. Mm -hmm. They didn't really do anything. No. Now we're discovering increasingly they, they actually affect our health our well-being, how we behave in so many ways. It's, it's one of the newest frontiers in medical science, yeah. really. It's, it's frightening the role that these little guys have in terms of our health, well-being and we behaviour. We <laughs> next, yeah. next time you go yeah. and have a second cupcake, who made that decision? Were you calling it? Or your gut bug saying, feed me another one, please. Mm, because boy, they do signal to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the great thing with the doco, because you're taking us all on the journey, which I think is fascinating. We're yeah. all going to learn a lot. For those that don't know much about it, let's take a quick look at this doco series. Imagine if the cure to obesity came in a pill. New Zealand scientists may have found one. It's the newest frontier in health research. The miracle cure? Yeah. Human faeces. Pretty sh job, right? Four QE teens. I've been overweight my whole life and I'm willing to try anything. We'll test the groundbreaking theory. Will the bugs from a thin person make an obese person thin? That is the $64 million question. This miracle pill could be the good shit. Starts Tuesday, October 2nd on 3. Ah, oh, it's such wow. a must watch. You have to watch this, OK? OK, well, wait, I'll ask you this. How concerned are you about obesity rates in our children? Oh, they're high. Um, Mike, one in three of our children, as they start school on that first day, are overweight or obese. One in three. 
they're pretty frightening statistics. And for some groups like Māori and Pacifica kids, the rates are even higher than that. Mm. So really we've, we've got to do something. And of course obesity tracks. An overweight or obese child becomes a more overweight or obese um, adolescent who becomes an obese adult. So mm. really we've got to intervene, we've got to do something. What we're trying to do is to fix the problem when it's established. But there are a few options. For those who've got a severe obesity problem, there are drugs that don't work that well, that have awful side effects. There's the standard diet and exercise which we should all do, but we hate, we're hedonists. Humans are hedonists. We love to eat, we don't like to exercise. That's <laughs> true. And we need to do more of all of that. So that's a pretty tough ask. So mm. our options are somewhat limited in terms of what we can do. So Justin, how does the study work? You get healthy poo mm -hmm. and you put it in a capsule that's and right. you, you feed it to people. That's right, so basically we make a crapsule. A crapsule. A crapsule. <laughs> so we process it down and filter stuff out and modify it and we stick it inside a capsule and the capsule basically means that you can swallow it and it gets delivered to your small intestine. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any side effects um, as a result of that, you know, there's no taste, there's no odour. Um, well, and, I'm pleased you brought up the taste, as I was concerned no, about no, no, that. No, 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 the odour, I was concerned. No. <laughs> Obviously, you had to take a few capsules as well. Did no, you? we took capsules, but not with the fecal material. Yeah, we had to yeah, water. So we, <laughs> we had to test them out and check that they work. You know, okay. But we weren't allowed to take them with the material. Oh, so how okay. did you find well, the people for the study? It was oh, an was interesting hard. challenge. Yeah, I, was. Facebook was hugely helpful and effective. To begin with, though, it was quite challenging to find both donors and recipients. Yeah. Um, donors, to be a donor is pretty rigorous, it's pretty tough because we wanted the donors to be the healthiest, leanest, fit, um, good lifestyle uh, young adults possible. And so of those who applied to be donors, only about 10% made the grade. Yeah. So we had pretty, because they are the treatment arm, so we want them to be the best possible yep, vectors right. of treatment possible. Yeah. And similarly, finding recipients was, was pretty challenging, but, but we've got, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, to save me from watching the rest of the doco, did it work? Or am I going to have to watch the rest? Yeah, you've got to watch the oh, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, yeah. you know, what is your ultimate outcome with this? Is it you know, to give the world a really good alternative to help with obesity? Well, it is. Ultimately, that's what we want to do, right? right. We, we want to help people who, 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 who want to treat the, the obesity. Mm. We want to help people achieve their goals. And one of the ways we think we can do that is by doing this, by giving capsules, perhaps, um, and, and modifying the health and well-being. I mean, that's the end point for everybody, right? It's, that's fascinating. It's really that. So when you're at a party, um, yes. and I'm sure, what do you do for a living comes up? What is, <laughs> what is people's general reaction when you say, well, <laughs> we're doing this? Yeah, yeah, they Morbid say, you're doing what? <laughs> Um, People ask this funny fascinated. things. Some don't want to talk about poop, and no. others like us are just absolutely fascinated. Yeah, it, fascinated. it dominates Everybody. every Everybody every does. cocktail party social <laughs> function I've been to. It just seems to dominate the entire conversation, and it finishes with, "Where can I get some?" Uh -huh. <laughs> and she's in the final two or like, yeah. when, can, "When can I get some?" And yeah. when will it be ready? But at the moment, it's a single treatment too. You, you just take it's over two days, but effectively, it's a once treatment, and the issue is. Will it work and how long will it work for? Because mm. we're not talking about taking something every day. Oh, yeah. Wow, jeez. Can't wait. And as well as the doco, you've got some extra content on three now as well. So for those yeah. that get right into it, they can go and learn more. Yeah, yeah, so there are seven standalone pieces that are on three now, Yeah, which, which nice. come out alongside the documentary. Explain the science and things around it. All the science. And, and give stuff. you a real in depth understanding of, oh. of, of what we're doing. Oh. Well, it is so cool. Yeah, go thank, New Zealand. Yeah, thank yeah. you both. Good luck. Yeah. Good Thank luck you. with this. Thanks. Uh, the Good Sh will premiere <laughs> Tuesday at 8.30 on 3. Uh, it's a special three-part doco series with extra content, as we mentioned, on 3 now. Thank you so much. Both yeah, you. thank you, gentlemen. Thank well you. done.